Hello, I'm going to showcase Brainwave Sequencer for iPad. This is a sequencer program that lets you create MIDI note clips and then arrange and layer them to create complete songs. Before we go ahead and create some uh, music, let's have a quick look at the interface. We basically have four main screens. This is the clip editor. This is where you actually sequence the MIDI notes into, uh, into each clip. This is the arrangement editor. This is where you take each of the clips and decide where you want to play them back in time. And uh, this is where you also uh, layer them uh, to create uh, interesting variations and, uh, and uh, your complete song, basically. Uh, in the mixer view, uh, you can actually see all your 16 tracks and uh, which instruments are set on these tracks. Uh, you can adjust uh, the volume. You can also mute any of them. And this is where you can actually uh, pop and edit the instrument. Note that this is also available in the clip editor. So you just hold your hand, your, your finger like this on the, on the instrument label and the instrument editor will appear. Uh, the last screen is the help. This is where you go to uh, fetch for some information on how to use this software. Excellent. So let's start with a new song. We basically uh, use the load icon here. The load icon is basically uh, allows you to, to, to either create new songs or load existing song, obviously. Uh, we have uh, some um, templates so that we have pre-assigned instruments. Um, you can create an empty song, but in our case, we're just going to create a techno song here. So let's look at uh, the instruments that we have uh, on this uh, template and uh, we can try some of them. Okay, in Brainwave, we have two kinds of instruments. We have melodic instruments, such as any of these, so you can go and change their pitch, obviously, with the, the piano. But you also have uh, rhythmic instruments. So this is more like a drum pad. Uh, this is where you assign different wave files and trigger them uh, to do uh, rhythms. So let's go into our clip editor and let's create our first clip. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, build a simple uh, baseline. All right. So let's see what it sounds like. Good. So uh, we have this baseline and we would like to create another variation on this baseline. It's quite easy. Let's go into the arrangement. This is where we actually see all the clips here. So we're going to copy that clip over to clip one. Now, if we go into clip one, obviously you have the same notes as in clip zero. But uh, what we'll do is we're going to change the line a bit. Okay, and if we go back to the previous clip, this is the previous clip. Okay. And uh, the next thing, we're gonna go into making drums. Excellent, so let's go into clip two and go uh, into our mixed drum instrument and start building some uh, drum loops. Okay, so we have drums, we have our two bass lines, and uh, let's uh, do a bit of, um, let's add a bit of uh, lead synth so that uh, this song doesn't uh, suck uh, too much. 
So we go into the lead techno. Excellent. So as you can see, we have a lot of controls on the song on, on the notes. You can move them around like this, and you can also stretch them, stretch their length. You can set their velocity like this, and you can delete them. So now, uh, if I want to move up and down, I can use this area here. I can also use this area here, and I can drag uh, the uh, the grid around like this. You can zoom in and zoom out like that, and you can also use the two finger motion directly on the screen like that, okay? So uh, let's build our lead line. Okay, so now we have a few clips. We can start uh, seeing what uh, what it all gives when you assemble them together. Notice that there's a bit of, uh, there's a, a little square here that indicates that there's some notes on that clip so you know uh, if uh, it's filled or if it's empty or not. Um, the, the other thing you can do also is um, change the name of the clip so you can have a meaningful name. So in this case, it's gonna be baseline one. This one is going to be base line two. This, this is going to be our drums. And this is going to be our lead. Excellent. So we're going to start and sequence Okay, uh, we're gonna add a bit of drums here. And our lead uh, starting around here. So let's see what we have. Okay, that lead line is a bit uh, sucky, so we're gonna change it. What we're gonna do is first set the range so that we're only playing back between that range. And then we can go back into the clip editor and uh, change whatever we need to change. Okay, now we kind of have a song. I mean, you can uh, play on it uh, for a long, long time and uh, have a better result than uh, what I just achieved in about eight minutes. But um, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, basically uh, setting the song's information. So we're going to call this Really Bad Song. Uh, the author, I'm not even going to put my name because uh, it, it's really it's really bad bad song. Um, you can set the beat per measure, so this is a, the time signature, and you can set the tempo in the, in the song information. So the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to save. Notice that there's a, a save as MIDI file. This is interesting if you want to bring your song into uh, an external editor that supports MIDI files. Uh, in our case, we just want to save it, so we just press OK, and it should appear in our list of uh, of the songs. Uh, so that's it uh, for now. I hope that has been helpful. Thank you and uh, happy music making.